Today, we are going to talk about reading a ruler. Uh, in America, we use the inch, uh, fractions, occasionally decimals when we get down small enough. The rest of the world uses the metric system, much, much easier in my opinion. If you know how to count by tens, uh, most of us have ten fingers, so not too hard to figure out the metric system. This side of the ruler though, we need to know how to use fractions. And it can be a little confusing for anyone that's just starting to try and learn all of these measurements. So I've got a little life hack that can make reading uh, a ruler quite a bit simpler. It's an easy way to create a cheat sheet for all of these little marks. Now, rulers have different lengths tick marks on them, which can help us know, uh, but even then, when you're first starting, it can be a little confusing. So, here's my life hack for creating a cheat sheet. I'm gonna look at just an inch. So, with my students, I call this drawing the inch. If I look at just one inch, I'm gonna recreate that on a piece of paper, nice and big. So, I'm gonna pretend that's my ruler. I'm gonna call this the one inch mark. Uh, this would be zero, the end of the ruler. Not all rulers end at zero. The rulers we use actually have a little extra here. The zero is actually right there at that first tick mark. So you gotta be careful and check that with whatever measuring device you're using. So my rule is pretty simple. For drawing the inch, You need to remember two things, cut and double. Cut and double, that's all we gotta remember. What we're going to do is cut whatever space we have in half. And this isn't accurate, we're not actually measuring things, we're just estimating, I'm gonna say, mm, about there's the middle. I cut the space in half, that's step one. Step two is double the denominator. Fractions, I, when I was in middle school, I d detested them. I hated them, I could not, it just didn't make any sense. So we're gonna try and break it down and make it a little easier. Hopefully we know what this number is as a fraction. So any whole number is a fraction if we have the same number, top and bottom, numerator and denominator. So that's a fraction. The first part cut, we did that. The second part, double the denominator. I'm going to multiply the bottom number by two. And in this case, two times one is two. So this denominator is going to be two. We always start with one, one half. So that first increment is half inch. So that's the step. We're gonna repeat that multiple times. Cut and double. We're gonna cut and double again. Now I have two spaces. I'm gonna cut both of these in half, and again, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna draw a tick mark, and we're gonna double again. So again, two times two this time is going to be four. So the denominator for these two increments is going to be four. So these are fourths. We always start with one. And here's where some people get confused. We, they start counting. One, two. Well, this isn't two because this is two. We can write this one as two fourths. One, two, that makes this one three fourths. One fourth, three fourths. We could also write this as four fourths. Or if we were doing halves, two twos, two seconds. Hmm, that's interesting. Wonder how you say that. All right, cut and double. We've got two sets done the halves and the quarters. I'm going to cross that off so it doesn't confuse us later. We're going to do it again. Cut. Cut all of these spaces in half, 
and double again. Two times four now, all of these increments are going to be eights. Two times four is eight. Uh, we can do the whole count thing, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. Gets a little confusing, so to make it even simpler, numerators are always odds. We always start with one. One, three, five, seven. Odd numbers. One, eight, three, eights, five, eights, seven, eights. All right? We're going to do this one more time. Cut all of those spaces and double. Two times eight is going to be 16. I'm kind of running out of space unless I write it real small. I'm just going to write the sixteenths up on top. If I do this, i got to be really careful that I don't mislabel one of the tick marks that's already been labeled. Sixteenth, 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 all the way across to here. And again, odd numbers starting with one. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen sixteenths. Now we have a hack. I can look at my ruler and if I'm measuring something, let's say is right there, well, I can go over, so it's one of the longer, so one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so we're, this measurement would be six and three eighths inches. This is a good way to practice, learn what the fractions are, where they go on the ruler, and how they relate to each other. Kind of a neat calculator, too, that you can use to reduce fractions if you were to write in all of the other ones. For example, if we had put all the sixteenths in, this would have become six sixteenths, but we can reduce that six sixteenths down to three eighths. Same with uh, this could have been eight sixteenths, but that can be reduced all the way down to half an inch. Now, couple of things I would like to point out. Remember, the numerator, the top number on every single set is odd. The bottom number, the denominator on every single set is even and they're doubling. We go 2, 4, 8, 16. We could figure out the next set pretty easily. The next set would be 30 seconds. We could go all the way across, uh, then 60 fourths. Some rulers do go down to 60 fourths. After 60 fourths, uh, usually we switch to decimal and, and thousandths of an inch, but uh, we could do 128, 256, 512, 1,020 fourths, uh, and continue that way, but nobody really measures with a ruler like that. So, a uh, quick and easy way you can check your work as well. Uh, if we look at the last number, or last fraction in each set, you'll notice something. We've got that one, that one, that one, and even this one, even though there's only one number in that set. Last number in this set, 15 sixteenths. The numerator is one less. Seven eighths, numerator is one less. Three fourths, numerator is one less. One half, numerator is one less. You can do a quick check, and if you ended up with 17 sixteenths right there, we messed something up, and we're gonna have to fix that. The other cool thing is we can also, pretty easily figure out what this 30 second would be. It would be 31 30 seconds. So, a couple of neat things you can do with the ruler, uh, with fractions, but uh, that's how we draw our inch. So, one more time, real quick, what I am looking for when I ask my students to draw their inch as a practice, we start with something like this. This would be zero, that's one. We cut and we double. We cut and we double. 
odd numbers on the top. We cut and we double. Odd numbers on the top. We cut and we double. Let's see, I make sure I'm doing the right ones here. I think I got them right. Let's look. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Just like that. And again, you can check yourself on the last one, 15 sixteenths, seven eighths, three fourths, one half.